Hello children, how are you? I hope that you all are fine at your homes. Children, you would have seen many people doing different things in this world. People with different professions, people doing many many things which you would never have even thought about. Why do they do all those things? Have you ever thought about it? This is something that makes you and me also wonder many a time because all the people are not doing the same thing. There is a variety of professions that they choose for themselves. What is the reason? There are people who become teachers, musicians, dancers, lawyers, politicians, what not? So many things are there which the people are doing. So, our today's chapter that we are going to do is going to solve this mystery. The mystery of these different types of intelligences which drive us into doing these different things which we like to do and finally, we opt those things as a profession in our lives. So, the title of the chapter is who I am. The title itself reveals what it wants to tell us. It is all about the doubt that we have about ourselves, the doubt of our personality traits which make us into becoming what we become in our lives. So, the chapter titled Who I Am is the sixth chapter in grade sixth honeysuckle book. The chapter talks about, first of all, the chapter talks about six individuals. These six individuals are the six children who come from different places in our country and they tell about their likes and their dislikes, about their aspirations and what they want to become in their lives. So, let us see what they want to say about themselves and then we will try to analyze the different intelligences and their impact on us. So, the first character is Radha. Her favorite activity is climbing trees. Just outside her house, there is a mango tree which she loves to go up. Its branches are spread out. So, it is simple for her to climb up the tree and she can sit comfortably in the fork of two branches. Her mother tells her it is not sensible for girls to climb trees, but one afternoon her mother herself climbed up too and both of them sat there talking and eating raw mangoes. When she goes high up in the tree, she feels like she can rule the whole world. The second character is Nasir. Nasir thinks that when he will grow up, he would like to become a seed collector. They have cotton fields in their village and every year his father spends a lot of money on buying new seeds to grow cotton plants. His grandfather told him that many years ago, he could collect the seeds from his own plants which could be sown to grow new plants during the next year. But today that does not work. So, they have to spend money to buy new seeds every single year. He wants to find out why that is so. He wants to learn how to preserve seeds so that they can use them again and they do not have to spend money year after year. Our third character is Rohit. Rohit loves to travel and says that if he had a huge amount of money, he would travel and travel. He wants to see the mountains of New Zealand because they look beautiful in a magazine picture. He wishes he could sail down the Amazon river in South America on a raft. He wants to live on the beaches of Lakshadweep and dive down to see coral. 
he supposes he should go to the Konark temple in Odisha or the old city of Beijing in China and the pyramids in Egypt too. But what he actually loves doing is seeing nature more than old buildings. The next child who shares his feelings is Sarabjit. What makes Sarabjit very angry is when people do not believe him when he tells the truth. For example, if he tells his teacher that he could not do his homework because Ravi borrowed his books and forgot to return it or if he tells his parents that it was not he but his little brother who started the fight or if he tells his teacher that he really did study for the test even if he got bad marks. They all look at him as if they think he is telling lies. The look on their faces really angers him. Sometimes he has to look down at his shoes and count to 10 so that he does not show that he is angry. Dolma is the next girl who shares her feelings. When she grows up, she is going to be the Prime Minister of India. People always laugh when she says that, but she is sure that she will do it. Everyone in her class asks her what to do when they have a problem and her teacher always trusts her when something needs to be done in the school. She wants to make things better for everyone. She wants them to have good hospitals and roads and schools. She wants to make sure that there are many good scientists in India who will invent cures for diseases and send a spaceship to Mars. Peter's favorite day is the second Sunday of every month. On this day, his whole family always goes to the cinema hall to watch a film. His father gets the tickets in advance and all of them, his grandmother, his parents, his two brothers and he himself take the bus there. In the interval, his father buys them peanuts and he loves to sit in the darkness of the hall eating and watching the film. Afterwards, they always stop to eat ice cream. Everyone is in a very good mood and they all feel very lucky that they are such a happy family. So children, through these stories, the writer gives us a simple message that there are different people with their different interests and likings. They may have different aspirations for their future. These different people have their own interests as per which they become what they become in their lives. The next thing which is very important to discuss here is the different types of intelligences which the writer refers as multiple intelligences. According to the writer, each one of us is skilled or is good at something, but different people are intelligent in different ways. The different intelligences are visual intelligence, verbal intelligence, mathematical intelligence, bodily intelligence, musical intelligence and interpersonal intelligence. As per all these intelligences, we like to do different types of things and we are good at certain things and finally, we become what we want to become in our lives. So, if you have visual intelligence, you like to think in pictures, create mental images to remember things. You enjoy looking at maps, charts, pictures, videos and movies. You are good at puzzle building, reading, writing, understanding maps, charts and graphs. 
a sense of direction is always there in you, sketching, painting, fixing or making objects, understanding pictures and if you have all these qualities in you, you become a navigator or a sculptor, artist, inventor, architect, interior designer, mechanic or an engineer. So, there are many creative fields open for a person who has visual intelligence. If you have verbal intelligence, you like to use words and language for doing different things. You speak well and think in words rather than pictures. You are good at speaking, writing, storytelling, listening, explaining, teaching, using humor, understanding the meaning of words, remembering information, convincing someone of your point of view. If you have these qualities, you can become a poet, a journalist, a writer, a teacher, a lawyer, a politician or a translator. Then we have mathematical intelligence. If you have mathematical intelligence, you like to use your reason, your logic and numbers. You are always curious about the world around. You ask lots of questions and you like to do experiments. Having this intelligence, you are good at problem solving, solving puzzles, experimenting, questioning and wondering about natural events, doing mathematical calculations, working with geometric shapes. If you have all these things, all these interests in you, you are likely to become a scientist, an engineer, a computer programmer, a researcher, an accountant or a mathematician. The next intelligence is the bodily intelligence. In this intelligence, you like to control your body movements and handle objects skillfully. You have a very good sense of balance and you can catch or hit a ball very well and you like to dance. You like to move around while learning. With this intelligence, you are good at dancing, physical coordination, sports, crafts, acting, miming or using your hands to create or build different things. You express emotions through your body and with this intelligence, you can become a dancer, an athlete, physical education teacher, an actor, a firefighter or a craftsperson. The next intelligence is a very musical one as it is musical intelligence. So, with this intelligence, you like to play and enjoy music. You think about sounds, rhythms and patterns. You immediately respond to music either through appreciating it or by criticizing whatever you hear. You are good at singing, whistling, playing musical instruments, recognizing tunes, composing music, remembering melodies, understanding the structure and rhythm of music and with this beautiful intelligence, you can become a musician, a disc jockey, a singer or a composer. Our next intelligence is interpersonal intelligence. With this intelligence, you like to understand others. You try to see things from other people's point of view in order to understand how they think or feel. You are a good organizer and you manage to get other people to cooperate and work as a team. You are good at seeing things from others point of view, listening, understanding other people's moods and feelings, solving problems, cooperating with groups, noticing people's moods, 
communicating, building trust, all these activities you are very good at. With this intelligence, you can become a counselor, a salesperson, a politician, a business person and a teacher. So, through this list of intelligences, you must have understood what the author wants us to understand. The simple thing is that all the people in the world are born with different kinds of intelligences and that way they act differently with all those intelligences. It results in their choosing different professions for themselves and showing interests in different activities in their lives. These activities may be a bit weird to us, but we must understand that those people have intelligence as per those activities and this is why they are so good at doing those things and we are not. So, children, now let us do an activity through which you can check how much you have been able to understand through today's class on multiple intelligences and their role in our interests in doing different activities in our lives. You have to simply guess and fill in the blanks with the name of different kinds of intelligence which we use for doing certain things. In the beginning, there is an example which is given. So, you can see when a person wants to listen to the people and solve their problems, he uses his interpersonal intelligence, which is an intelligence meant for making a person understand the feelings of different people and taking actions as per those feelings and problems. So, ok children, through this first question, now I will try to know how much have you understood. The first question is, when I enjoy dancing or physical activity, I use my which intelligence? Tell me children, which intelligence do we use when we dance or we do some physical activity? Yes, you are right. This is our bodily intelligence because we use our body for such activities. So, the answer would be bodily intelligence. The next one is when I enjoy looking at maps and examining pictures, I use my which intelligence? Guess children, the intelligence which I use while enjoying looking at the pictures and maps like things is my visual intelligence, because I get pleasure through those visuals at that time. So, the answer would be visual intelligence. The third question is, when I enjoy working with numbers and solving maths problems, I use my which intelligence? Children, this is very easy to answer, because the answer lies in the question itself. If somebody enjoys doing mathematical calculations, it means he or she has mathematical intelligence. The last question is, when I enjoy telling a story or arguing, I use my which intelligence. So, here you can see that enjoyment comes through speaking or narrating something. So, this is very simple to answer as the answer would be verbal intelligence. So, children after this activity, I hope that you would have been able to understand the role of different intelligences into the different interests that we have in our lives. Now, I would like to assign you some homework 
through which I would like you to remain connected with your studies. The homework for today is a very, very nice one, wherein you have to write a paragraph about yourself, so that people who read it will get to know about you in a better manner. You could write about yourself from any point of view or choose one of the following topics. The topics are what I enjoy doing most or what makes me angry, what I hate to do or what I want to become. So, all these topics they belong to you. The things that you either like to do or you do not like to do or something which makes you angry. So, while writing about these topics, you have to remember to give a reason or details of what you write about, so that anyone reading it will understand you better. After you have finished your paragraph, share your paragraphs with your friends and then read each other's paragraphs. Did you understand someone else better after you read what he or she wrote? This is what you will be able to know about after you do this activity. I hope you will enjoy doing this homework. So, children, I hope you would have enjoyed today's chapter, not only because this was a different kind of a chapter where there was no story, but because this chapter opened your eyes about a very, very important thing in life, because sometimes this is very important for us to understand what makes us do certain things and why do we like to do different other things that the other people are not doing. And the same thing happens with us when we think about ourselves or about different other people in the whole world. So, it has certainly opened your eyes, not only your eyes, but mine as well. I hope you would have been able to understand the different intelligences and their role in our shaping with this chapter. So, thank you very much for giving your time to this class. Goodbye.